In this video we're going to learn about what motion graphs are. So you can all picture what a graph looks like, but the important thing is to understand about the word motion. Motion is the action of movement. And there are some important key words when describing the motion of an object. For example, it could be stationary, which means it's not moving. It could be moving at a constant speed, which means it's moving at the same speed. It could be accelerating, which means it's speeding up. Or it could be decelerating, which means it's slowing down. This is how the start of your motion graph might look. On the y-axis you've got distance in metres, and on the x-axis you've got time in seconds. If you were to record how far an object travelled in a certain amount of time, you would then plot it on your graph. For example, in this first stage, the object may have travelled 40 metres in the first 10 seconds. And then perhaps, for the next 15 seconds, they didn't travel any distance at all. And for their final leg of their journey, they perhaps travelled another 30 metres in 25 seconds. And your motion graph, in this case your distance time graph, might look something like this. A straight line on a motion graph means that the object is travelling at a constant speed. A horizontal straight line, however, means the object is stationary. And the final part of the journey we have another straight line which means it's travelling at a constant speed again. The steepness of the line when the object is travelling at constant speed gives us an indication of how fast the object is travelling. The steeper the line, the faster it is travelling. So the first part of this graph is a lot steeper than the last part of the graph. So it's travelling faster first of all, and then when it's less steep it's travelling a lot slower. For example, if we show the motion of a rhino going along this distance time graph, we can suggest that in the first part of the graph the rhino is running fast, at a constant speed. In the second part of the journey, the rhino is stationary, and in the third and final part of this journey, the rhino is travelling at a slower, constant speed. You can calculate average speed on a motion graph using the equation speed equals distance over time. For example, if we wanted to calculate the speed of the rhino in the first section of the graph, we would see the distance travelled, which is 40 metres, and the time it took, which is 10 seconds. So the speed would be 40 metres divided by 10 seconds, which would be 4 metres per second. In the second part of the graph, we said it was at a slower constant speed, because it's a shallower line. So the rhino goes from 40 metres to 70 metres in this section, so that's a total distance of 30 metres. And he does that between 25 and 50 seconds. So that is a total time of 25 seconds. So to calculate the speed of the rhino in this section, it would be 30 metres divided by 25 seconds, which would be 1.2 metres per second. A curved line that gets steeper shows that an object is accelerating. At the beginning of this graph, the line is less steep, so the object is moving slower. And then later on, it is steeper, so the object is moving faster. And we could show this if we were to draw some straight lines as close as possible to the graph. So the first section here wouldn't be as steep as this second section over here. So you can see that it's getting steeper, so the object must be accelerating. A curved line that gets shallower, less steep, shows an object decelerating. So in this first section, it is much steeper, so the object is moving faster. And in the second section, it is less steep, so the object is slower. So if we look at part of its initial journey, it's a very steep increase in distance over time. And as the journey progresses, that becomes a lot shallower. So we can see that it's going faster at the beginning and then slower, so the object must be decelerating. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com.
If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.